you're only allowed to have one main function in your entire project. Put another way, amongst all the files that comprise your project, only one of them can contain a main function. However, over the course of the semester, it'll be handy to be able to have multiple files, each one that has its own main function. This video will tell you how to accomplish that. All you need to do is make sure to exclude all of the files that contain main functions that you're not going to use during a particular build. So for example, we'll use Hello World. Hello World has a main function, but let's say I'm going to activate some other file that has a main function. Right click on Hello World and hit Properties. Click on the C, C++ Build and you'll see that there's an option to exclude a resource from Build. Click that and say OK. And uh, there's some building going on. It's automated. <coughs> After it's done, you'll see a slash through Hello World, and it's no longer an active file. If later on you want to use the main function in this file, you can reactivate it by going to Properties, unclicking Exclude Resource from Build, say OK. And this project will rebuild now with uh, this file being activated. Anytime you get an error from the compiler that says multiple definitions of main function or something like that, this means that you have multiple main functions defined either in the same file or in any one of the files that uh, comprise the project. So use this uh, exclude functionality to have multiple files that have main functions in them for your projects.